Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 2106 FBS. This is a great lightweight couples coach, comes in at a little under 3,800 pounds, means that it's easily towable by a lot of your mid-size SUVs. Let's go ahead and start up front here. Uh, so right here is your propane tank cover. This is great, helps uh, hide those unsightly propane tanks. Nice and easy to access as well. Just undo these thumb screws right here up front, like so. That will allow you to lift up the door, which gives you access to your two 20-pound tanks. Behind that, you can see the rails for your battery box. Then coming up the front here is diamond plating. Now this black diamond plating helps protect the front end from rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way, you know, hopefully it doesn't hit and scratch up your beautiful fiberglass here on the front end. Uh, another thing of note, if you take a look at the frame on here, this is a BAL huck bolt frame. Uh, that's fantastic, it's nice and strong. Also, if you ever do get in any kind of damage, uh, if it ever gets into an accident, it is easier to replace. Unlike your standard welded frame where it's, uh, if it gets bent, you know, it's a lot like a car. With this, you can uh, replace whole sections of that frame. So that is definitely a big advantage. With that BAL frame also come the BAL jacks right here, uh, both in the front and back. And these require, uh, you know, probably about a third less turns than your standard jacks, which are awesome. That means less work for you. Now right here is the pass-through storage. We can open that up and take a look right in there. Uh, you see that it is quite spacious, which is great, especially for a smaller coach. Right over here is your light. Then if you can see in the back there is a uh, battery disconnect. So that way when you're done camping, you can just go ahead and turn that battery disconnect and that will kill all power to the coach so you don't have to take the top off your battery box and mess with the battery. Now if you take a look at the sidewall, uh, this is the cherry red exterior. You can see though how it has the shine and luster in the sidewall. That's because this is one of the uh, best sidewall construction methods in the industry. This is a true pour gel coat exterior. Uh, so I mean if you look at it, you can't see any fibers in here, it's just gorgeous. It, it can be buffed, uh, you know, to keep that luster. Uh, the closest thing I can compare it to essentially is a boat hull. They have a very similar process and just like a boat, this will last for years to come. So that is definitely a big advantage of the Winnebago towable products. You can see the power awning on there. That's very simple and easy to use. Touch button that rolls out. Same thing to roll right back in. And underneath that power awning, you have two outside speakers. Now those are controlled by your multimedia center inside, however they are Bluetooth capable. So if you wanna sit out here, you can use your smartphone or tablet, connect to it via Bluetooth, and be able to control your music from your device. Getting into the coach is very simple. You have two steps, but as you'll see, the second step is nice and low. That's because it's a low profile coach. Uh, as I mentioned, it just under 3,800 pounds. They you know, don't expect you to be towing this with a three quarter or one ton truck. So they try to get it sitting low. That way you have less wind resistance up top, meaning a better tow experience for you. And also with that second step there, it makes it nice and easy to climb into the coach, especially with the foldable easy, uh, easy grab handle right here. To make our way back a little bit further, take a look at the rims on here. They have the uh, deluxe alloy rims, really gives it a great look. You can see the red accents in there, which is really neat. Uh, also less chance for any kind of uh, corrosion or rust on the rims and nitrogen filled tires for an overall better tow experience and more even tire wear. If you're one that likes to watch uh, TV outside, that's not an issue. You will see right here, they put a sticker on there to show you that they have uh, installed a backer in this wall. That way you know exactly where to go ahead and mount the TV. Now, right over here are the connections for that. You have your cable right there. And then this is, of course, your electrical outlet. Now, even if you don't use a TV, obviously you can still plug anything you want right there into an electrical outlet, so it is still very functional. Let's come around to the back side with me here. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is your spare tire riding right back here on the bumper. This is great. Uh, you know, hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing you have your spare tire right back here and you have the cover on it so you know it'll be in good shape for years to come. Then as you come around the back side, or the uh, off-door side, right here is your plug-in for your 30 amp detachable power cord. Black tank flush right here. Outside shower with both hot and cold access, your satellite and cable hookups, and then your water fill right there. But all right, folks, pretty much wraps up the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. 
Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 2106 FBS. This particular model is in the Mocha interior. Let's go ahead and start off right over here on the kitchen. Uh, so not a ton of countertop space, but they have tried to make the best of it by giving you a cover on the cooktop and also a countertop extension right over here to the side. Double bowl stainless steel sink right there. Uh, you can put sink top covers on here as well and get more prep space out of this countertop yet. You also have the high rise faucet here in order to aid in doing dishes. Window right here so you can see outside also lets in some natural light during the day and a LED light right here above. You actually have LED lights throughout the coach which is a big deal uh, because not only are LED lights nice and bright but they also don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power. So if you do plan on taking this somewhere where you'll be running off the batteries and you don't have shore power you will truly appreciate having the LED lights. Right over here, as I mentioned, is the three burner cooktop. Uh, this does fold up, the cover here certainly does. Uh, three burner cooktop there, the front one is high output and great flame control on the Atwood as well. Right down below is your oven, in case you wanna do some baking. And then a little bit of storage here underneath as we open this guy up. You can take a look at that. And more storage right here under the sink. This is a nice large storage area. Perfect place for a trash can. Electrical outlet right here. Uh, you have two drawers there as well. Full extension drawers. You can see how nice and long those are. So plenty of room for your silverware and all your other uh, items like your serving spoons, spatulas, things like that. Storage here up top as well. You can take a look at that. Nice big storage. Uh, right here is your microwave. The weight on this unit, 3,000 780 pounds so as I mentioned under that 3800 pound mark fully functional hood here with a light and fan then as you move over you get into the into the Dometic fridge freezer combo go ahead and open that up for you you'll see on the bottom there plenty of space you have a cutout there too and then your freezer is up top uh, this unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over now right back here is the bathroom. Uh, a couple of quick things I want to talk about and that's all surrounding this Winnebago door. So Winnebago's have some of the best doors in the industry. Um, you know it's one of those things where when, you, when you're out there shopping you can compare how well Winnebago's board doors work. They close each and every time. They're nice and solid which is great. Also when we do open it up you can see right here this is actually wood framed. Most manufacturers use a plastic trim around there which is part of the reason that they don't uh, shut well not the case here that wood trim works uh, awesome and it's just goes to show you the quality they're putting in products right down here is the foot flush lever toilet uh, plenty of room there all the way around over to the side you have a nice big shower you can see the uh, shelving there your hand wand skylight up top and you have a curved shower bar then right over here is a vent so you can get out any moisture, LED lights there of course as well. Uh, large linen closet, you can see that, so plenty of room which is great. Uh, same thing here and some extra storage right down below. Then over here is your sink top and vanity, you can see additional storage there. And up top is the mirrored medicine cabinet. Right here on the door is also a robe hook which is nice so that way uh, you know as you're in the bathroom you can go ahead and hang your clothes up. Now on the off door side, right over here is the entertainment center. Uh, you have the Jensen TV as well as the Jensen Multimedia Center. Uh, I really like Jensen products. The, they're you know, one of the top name brands in RV industry and manufacturers do pay a little bit more for them, but they are definitely worth it. They're built for the RV industry to be able to with, uh, withstand the shocks and vibrations from going down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from very hot to very cold. So that way it's one less thing you have to worry about. You know that season after season they will continue working. Uh, in this uh, multimedia center there is a radio CD and DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie you can go ahead and pop it right in. And as I did mention we were outside this is Bluetooth capable. Right up top here, go ahead and open that up, see some additional storage up there, great place for a DVD collection. And then right under here you have great additional storage as well. Now you'll notice right over here there is a slide in this, uh, in this coach which is phenomenal for the weight. So as I mentioned under 3,800 pounds and you have the slide really opens this space up. 
Uh, this sofa here is a jackknife style sofa, so it can fold down into a sleeping space. You can just lift it up, and then of course it drops right down. Uh, one of the cool things though, right behind it you will see a table. So this is a great place to store the table. You can see that right there. This just pulls up and out, and you can set that up right here. Because this floor plan foregoes a, a regular style dinette, instead they give you this couch, the table, which I personally would much rather have. Uh, storage right up here along the top as well, so it's nice to have a little bit of storage. And again, as I said, it definitely opens this space up. Right up top here, you will notice um, the speakers. As I said, those are connected to your multimedia center. Ducted AC in this unit. Uh, I did forget to mention the heater. I'm sorry, the heater is actually right there underneath the fridge. Then as we move forward, move into the bedroom area. Right here is a curtain, so you can go ahead and move that to close off. You want some additional privacy. Again, as I mentioned, that jackknife sofa does fold down into a bed, uh, so if you do have additional guests, the privacy will definitely be warranted. Uh, queen size bed here. It does have storage underneath as well. You'll see that is strut supported, and look how high this raises up. Raises up nice and high, so it is very easy to get in here. Even if you have larger items, you can still easily access those. Then we have two different storage types on either side of the bed. Uh, on this side right over here, we have a hanging rod, a little bit of wardrobe space there, which is nice. The other side, you can see you have a nightstand there with a large drawer and also an electrical outlet. So if you need to charge a cell phone or if you have a CPAP machine, you can plug it in right over there. LED light right here, storage along the top here. Uh, a vent, so if you want to open up some windows, get some airflow without turning on the AC, you can certainly do that. And then lastly, right here is your king jack. So this is your TV antenna, this is pretty nice too. Uh, what this does, instead of having to uh, raise and lower the antenna, instead you just turn this and it finds the best signal. The reason that's really convenient is because with the old style, when you raise it up, if you forget to lower it down, you can catch it on something, you know, the wind uh, will cause damage. And so again, it's one less thing that you have to worry about. But all right, folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Winnebago Micro Mini 2106 FBS. Uh, this one has the cherry exterior with the mocha interior. This really is a great couples coach. I mean, if you're looking for something that can be towed by a midsize SUV like a Trailblazer, uh, you know, you don't want to have to go into that pickup, but you want something that is quality built. This has the Winnebago name and reputation behind it. You will see it in the quality of the camper. Uh, you know, you have a large rear bath bathroom there, great storage in the bathroom, the, you have everything you need in the kitchen here, you get this slide out, all that for under 3,800 pounds, and a beautiful exterior on this coach as well. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough and you'd like to see others like it, make sure you join our YouTube channel, that way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.